Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys my base routine. I wanted to just focus on complexion. I wanted to take you guys through this little tutorial because I have hormonal acne, which means that I break out along my jawline and that's due to my birth control, but it's either have pimples or have babies and today we are picking pimples. <laughs> so if you do struggle with acne, don't worry girl, I got you. I'm gonna take you through my acne makeup routine to make sure that we look a little bit more awake, presentable. I don't naturally have rosy lips, so I just feel like I look really dead. Like, I look like I'm a cast of, I mean the cast of like a zombie apocalypse movie. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and get started with my current makeup, everyday natural makeup routine. And I'm also gonna share with you guys why I choose the products that I'm gonna be using in today's video because they're all very beneficial to your hormonal or acne prone skin. No, I'd rather be waking up with you Set up alone in your room Slept with the light on waiting up for you Don't, I don't wanna be Before I started filming this video, I washed my face but I did not apply a moisturizer. So before we apply any makeup, we definitely have to apply a moisturizer. I've been loving this moisturizer here from Paula's Choice. This is their C5 Super Boost Moisturizer, which contains vitamin C, and vitamin C is really good for your skin if you do have acne marks like I do. You guys can see that I am clearly a popper. When I have a big pimple, I can't help but to pop it. <laughs> And that's why I'm left with these acne marks all over my face. I still like I want to get this one I want to pop it so bad But it's right in my dimple and I love my dimple. I don't want to leave a mark there. So we're, we're just We're just letting it Live there for now. All right, so we're gonna go in with a vitamin C moisturizer from Paula's Choice Well, it's gonna brighten up these dark marks Okay, we're gonna bring it down to the neck and I always like to apply my moisturizer going up because we're trying to lift the neck as we age Our neck gets a little bit on the saggy side and I'm starting to see that in mine So have you guys watched my videos enough to remember when I used to live by a Airport and you guys can always hear the airplanes flying by well, now I live by a train. It's like right next to me and um, yeah, it's going by right now. <laughs> now that I applied my moisturizer, vitamin C has to be followed up with SPF. Regardless if you're using a vitamin C moisturizer, always use SPF if you have acne because your acne marks are just gonna get darker with, with the sun. So you wanna protect your skin from that. I actually have a couple of favorite SPFs. This one here is the Cause Rocks, Cause Rocks, <laughs> Cause RX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream, and this is SPF 50. And it contains aloe vera, which calms your skin. If you have redness to your skin, it helps calm that down. It also doesn't give you a white cast. So when you apply SPF, I'm sure you have noticed like it leaves your skin kind of looking a little bit on the white. Like it leaves you that white cast. Well, this one doesn't. So that's why I really love it. But I've also been loving this Murad. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. A lot of brands I can't pronounce. Now this here is the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifying SPF 45. This is really good for those girls that have really oily skin like myself. So I just apply this, like this amount right here, to my fingertips and I apply it to my pimples right here. Like that, you see that it doesn't really have a white cast either. I'm gonna apply it to my neck and I'm gonna be applying it to my nose because right in here is where I tend to get really oily and my cheek area right here. All right, I think we're good. So just a little bit because I don't wanna put too many products because then the next product we're gonna be putting on is not gonna, it's not gonna behave very well. The next product I'm gonna be applying is also an SPF, but this is a tinted SPF. It's by Tower 28, and this is this is this is a must-have if you have acne. Okay, this is a mineral SPF, so it's good for your skin. It claims to be safe for sensitive skin, which I definitely agree with that. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and won't cause any breakouts. This is the shade number 35.2. Doom, that's my shade that I'm gonna use today. It's also alcohol free. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the back of my hand like so. And I'm gonna take my Frankie Rose foundation brush number 90. And I'm gonna just dip in there. Again, it's a tinted sunscreen, so you are not gonna get a full coverage, but we're not going for that. We're just going for uh, not looking like a zombie type of look, you know? Ooh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put an acne dot. I was gonna use this, my Peace Out Acne Day Dot. You can apply this onto your pimple and then just put makeup over it. But we already put makeup over it. One day I'm gonna live on a countryside where there's no cars passing by because I'm really sick and tired of hearing ambulances, helicopters, freaking trains, airplanes. I just don't want any of that in my videos. I will have all these products linked down below for you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing any of them. And the links that you guys will see down there will be affiliated. So that means if you guys purchase anything through the links down below, I do earn commission, which supports me and my kids. And I just wanna say thank you for that. Let me go over to the other side. I'm gonna apply a little bit more on my hand this is such a good product you guys the tinted moisturizer you can use this when you go camping i definitely applied this when i went camping whenever i went hiking like this is a must have i want you guys to see right in here my pimples are still peeping through you can still see a little bit of that redness and that color that i have the acne marks but I am fine with that. All right, let's move on to the next product. This is the Rhea Cosmetics 4-in-1 Concealer. This also has SPF 30, and it has a cooling tip, which is my favorite part about this. So it's really good to depoof your eyes. Depuff or depoof. I'm going to squeeze a little bit of this out and apply it underneath. Ooh. It's really cold lately, so this is actually staying cool, even without my mini fridge. My skincare fridge right in here on my chin on my forehead and a little bit on my nose so annoying but my memory card got full so i had to come over here and delete everything off the memory card whatever um so let's just blend this out i've already done this side yeah, the concealer was sitting there for a while, but luckily it does not dry down fast. You guys can see it is super easy to blend out, even though I left it sitting there for a while. I don't think I even told you guys what color this one was. The concealer is the number... Oh, hold on. It's medium neutral. And then with whatever's left on the brush of the concealer, I'm just applying it around the mouth area. Yeah, my face is looking at extremely white, but not to worry. We're going to keep playing around with some more makeup. I do have to set my under eye area with the Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Setting Powder. And we just want to prevent any creasing because I am definitely getting some vine lines underneath my eye area. So going in there like so. I'm also applying the powder to the areas where I do get really oily, which is right here on the nose and onto the forehead. T-zone. I'm also applying it over to the chin area. Now I'm going to take the Hoola bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer because it has a brown tone to it, not an orangey tone. Most bronzers do have that orangey tone and I'm trying to go for this type of color. This is the Hoola bronzer and I'm going to be taking the Rare Beauty brush. This one does not have a number on it but it is a really big brush and it's perfect for bronzing so taking the hula bronzer i'm just going to be applying it to the perimeter of the face just to add more color now you guys can begin to see more depth to the face to add a little bit of more color to the face i'm going to take the laura mercier strawberry blush this is a really pink blush and i love this for a daytime look especially when i'm trying to do like the like no makeup makeup type of look i just want it to look very natural this is just you know we we can't just we can't go wrong with too much blush especially if it's like really pink and cute look at this okay i like that i can't help but to look at my lips right now so i'm going to take this lip tint from kylie cosmetics this just launched with her wizard of oz collection it appears green, but once it applies to the lips, it starts giving you a really beautiful tint. Look at that. Compare that to my top lip. 
This is also apple flavored. The absolute best product that has launched this year, in my opinion. I'm basically done with complexion, but I do want to finish up and touch up on a few things. I'm going to use the Benefit Volumizing Gimme Brow Pencil. We're just going to fill in the eyebrows very lightly. I love the color of this. I'm using number five and it's really easy to use. You really do light strokes and I love that this is a pencil that you can sharpen because you get more use out of this compared to the micro pencil from Benefit. That one, I feel like I go through that so fast. Even though it does give you really precise strokes, this one just gives you a very natural looking eyebrow and it's really easy to use. If you are just like somebody that's on a go, I highly recommend you try this out. So there you have it. That's how I do my eyebrows very quickly. And I also go in with the Gimme Brow Gel just so that the hairs stay in place. Perfect. Let me do the other eyebrow. I really love this eyebrow. I don't know why the other one can't ever just grow the same way. All right. And now I'm going to go in with the Nearly Neutral Eyeshadow from Rare Beauty. I've let you guys know that I have very sensitive eyes over on my Instagram and I can't, I don't know, I've been noticing that my eyes are way too sensitive to powder, powdered um, eyeshadows. So I've been doing a lot of the liquid shadows off of camera. Of course, I create tutorials for you guys using eyeshadow palettes, but seriously, this is just like a go-to. It's so easy to use. You can blend it out with your finger, but I always choose an eyeshadow brush because I feel like I have a little bit more control of the placement of the eyeshadow but you guys can see how creamy and easy it is to blend out and it dries down matte so at first it's really creamy and then through the day it dries down matte so that your eyelet I, so that your eyelids don't crease well the eyeshadow doesn't crease not your oh god what language am i speaking all right and now going in with the mascara this is the bad gal bang mascara this is their little mini but you know we're gonna use it I'm going to go in there and just apply a light coat of mascara. This mascara is so buildable. I just don't want to do too much mascara. I love how it builds up without clumping. That wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look, even though it's so basic. <laughs> I look like a basic bitch right now. But, you know, my skin still looks like skin. I love that it's so effortless. I can do this in less than 15 minutes and I used products that are beneficial to my skin type. If you guys have any questions for me, please let me know down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give my video a thumbs up. It helps my algorithm. It helps new people watch my video and subscribe. So I just really appreciate your guys' support. I do have a lip tint on right now, but I kind of want to add a little bit of lip gloss. So I think I'm going to do um, the Fenty Heat Lip Balm, Lip Gloss, and this is in the color Hot Cherry. It's one of my favorites, and I feel like I just need that. And that will be everything to tie up the look. Let's see. See, it adds that tint. Ooh. Okay, girl. All these products are linked down below in the description box. Thank you again for being here. And I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Have you shopped with me yet? Go ahead and take a look. I have so many eyelashes, different styles to complement any occasion. I also sell eyelash glue. I have press-on nail sets that I hand paint with love myself. I sell press-on nail kits, which you can do your own DIY nails or maybe you wanna sell your own press on nails. I have so much to offer on my website, so go ahead and visit www.sonadoraofficial.com.